Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I'm back with some uh, fun summer things, and we're almost at summer, and so uh, let's go ahead and get started. And yes, I have on my fun uh, dollar store glasses, which I think are just nifty. So, <laughs> um, as far as going ahead and getting started today, um, I finally kind of got to look for summertime that I'm thinking will go ahead and work for me. Um, I did have to take the thinning shears into uh, finish up my haircut because it was just a little bit too much of everything there. And um, so, yeah, that's the way that this kind of turned out a little bit, a little bit shorter than what I was thinking, but you know, it'll grow. And, um, <clears throat> As far as uh, what else I've done, I did go ahead and redo uh, my uh, self tanner. And so, yeah, this is a little bit grungy. It's a Bondi Sand Sapphire Cool Tone. Um, so, it's supposed to be for uh, fair skin tones and not turn you too orange. So that's what I went ahead and did there. And uh, let's see, what else have I done to kind of get ready for the summer um, makeup? I went ahead and got out my Laura Geller. This is my fair shade. And this is in the Bait Balance and Glow. So this one is actually a powder. And uh, I haven't used it a lot. I got along with the porcelain. I wasn't sure what shade I was. And uh, when I had the fake tan on, I can definitely go ahead and use the fair. And the porcelain is actually really light. Let me get that here. So actually, both colors work for me. Um, it just, you know, if I don't have self-tanner on, then I use this shade. And if I, which is the porcelain, and then if I do have self tanner on, I use this shade, which is the fair. So again, porcelain with the, yeah, with the cap that's fallen, and then this one is the fair shade. So these are the two that I have, and right now I have the fair one on, and um, yeah, I'm kind of liking it. Uh, I don't get the same sort of um, finish with the Laura Geller as I do with some of the other ones. Um, I think the one that came out from L'Oreal just looked like it was a uh, really old-fashioned powder on me, and so it didn't look that good, but these Laura Geller ones I like a lot. And then as far as what I did, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, for the bronzer, I went ahead and used Bikini Contest. This is the old packaging for Wet n Wild, and this one has a lot of red in it, and so I just like the way that it applies. And um, so I actually shot my stash for this one, and I've been really liking it. Um, I did go ahead and use the Hard Candy, This their Face Off blush. This one is in Who Is She? So that's what I have on there. And then the Seismic by ColourPop as far as the highlighter. So that's what I have on for that part of it. Um, I did go ahead and use the Thicket Stick It by NYX. This is one in Light Ash Brown. And so that's what I have on uh, for my brow. As far as the eye look goes, I picked up the Revolution Ultimate Nudes. And this is the one in light. Yeah, it's the one in light. And this was in Walmart on the same display that the We Love Revolution, which is another line by ColourPop. And so, yeah, the We Love Revolution, everything is going to be about $5 or under. And these are two of the, I have a blush palette and a contour palette. And um, so it's a really affordable line at Walmart. And then Revolution went ahead and put these in the display as well. They're not part of the Relove line, um, but they're part of Revolution. And I've actually really been liking this particular uh, palette. 
today I went ahead and put this in the crease and then this uh, right above the crease um, I did this one on the inner corner uh, this one on the lid then this one on the brow bone and let's see as far as the way the look turned out it went pretty purpley today but yeah that's the way that the look turned out and I think it came out pretty well um, I think I might go ahead and do a little bit of blue under the eye here just to give it a little bit something different so let's see okay so that's it with a little bit of blue eyeliner and this is the Emride uh, Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. So that's how it looks with that. And um, let's see, what else did I go ahead and do? Oh, for the finishing powder, I've actually misplaced my Physician's Formula one. And I don't know where it walked off to, but it definitely disappeared. So... Um, so usually I use uh, the translucent one, but it seems to have disappeared for the moment. So uh, today I went ahead and used the natural shade as my finishing powder. And this one gives you definitely a pink um, kind of glow. And so I think it added something a little bit different to the whole look. And so again, uh, this is by Physicians Formula. You can get it over at Walmart as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's in other locations, but I know it's over at Walmart. So I did go ahead and use that. And then the La Cienga by uh, ColourPop. Really pretty glowing lip shade. Hmm. And so I think you know, moving into summer, that this is a fun summer look, and it has, you know, some color, but uh, a lot of bronze, and so, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I just redid my uh, self-tanner last night, so this is, yeah, it's going to tone down a little bit, um, actually quite a lot. But um, I still have at least half a bottle. I may actually have more like three-quarters of bottle of a bottle left. I've used this four different times and um, yeah so I it's brand new it's over at Ulta it's called the Technicolor one and they have uh, diff different uh, shades I'm using the sapphire they have the emerald one uh, for a golden tan they have the deep one and they have a couple of other shades as well so uh, definitely worth you know looking into if you want to go ahead and do some self tanner and um, other than that I think that's about all that I have to say and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later bye <music>